Hey folks, Flip here, and welcome back to Better Minecraft. Today, we are back here in the village, which is actually going to be happening today. And what I mean by that, it is finally time to bring some villagers into our little cottage core village that we're creating. Why? Got to get the spyglass out for this one. Why is there a grass block on top of my tree? I'm confused. I blame the Endermen. Last episode, we created this little hobbit hole portal to the nether, which is terrifying. We've got these beautiful mushrooms, which are less terrifying. If y'all are excited for today's episode, please be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're brand new. As I peer deeply into your soul and ask why you have not subscribed yet. To be honest, sometimes I question why you all do. But anyways, moving on from there, our diamond pickaxe is almost broken. It does not, it does not have many great enchantments on it right now, but vein mining and collection are pretty OP. Up here, we did acquire a few diamonds in the last episode. So I wanted to see how many diamonds it would take to repair this guy. Let's see, that's one to there, two there, and three doesn't max us out. But if we bring in some steaks, we make ourselves a new diamond pickaxe. <gasps> wait, wait, big brain, big, bigger braining. Before we combine the pickaxes, we enchant the new one. Huh, 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 efficiency four? Yes, yes, oh, big yes. And now we have a vein mining unbreaking three collection efficiency four diamond pickaxe. Yes, please, fully repaired. Since we're actually pretty loaded up on torches right now inside of the backpack, we've got a little over a stack and a half and the sun is setting. I figured we could run down into the mine and see if we could find a few more diamonds for ourselves. Uh, since we're still working with a lot of iron tools over here and it's really not that great I'd like to actually have good stuff now. This is the weirdest way to fall down How did I turn my mini map on? What is oh n n turns the mini map on I didn't even notice that maybe we can find some caves still weird going down like this Oh, and we've reached the bottom We're down at negative 48 right now and a lot of people had mentioned that the lower down you are the better your chance of getting diamonds is so maybe we're gonna dig around here for a little while. We're already getting some lapis, some tough block would be great. We got some iron, some more lapis. We got redstone, we got even more tough blocks and oh, we're just mining everything. I wish I had this much tough block in any of the other series I do. It's amazing here, but I don't plan to use it too much. This would be a lifesaver in empires or hardcore. Oh, that'd be amazing. Any diamondos? No diamondos so far. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. I need a minute. <laughs> I was trying to fix my inventory and figure out what's down here. <laughs> okay. 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 We're good. There's just another one. I'm starting to think diamonds are just really dang hard to find over here. Starting to think it's just kind of a lost cause. We do have an underwater cave, which I've already explored because we found some diamonds back there. Okay. And hippity hoppity our way out of here. I came back up into the positives here, and wow, there's a lot more caves on the map. Which one of these appears to be what we explored a while ago? Okay. Oh, it's down. Oh, it's very much down. Okay, well, oh, there's a creeper. <laughs> okay, um, panic mode. Die, please. Die, you're dead. You're dead. You're very much dead. Oh, I am so on edge after that last creeper. Okay. Over here, we're just gonna run around, light some of this stuff up, and see if we can't spot any diamonds down here. Come to think of it, what we should really be doing right now is trying to get fortune. So maybe we, we identify where a bunch of diamonds are, if they exist at all. I think we've secured it. I think we have secured this area. No, there's creepers right in the middle. Of course there. Of course there are creepers, but a slime. I would love to take some slime home with me. No, no slime. Okay, that's fine. Never mind then. Oh, the cave continues to diamonds right there. Look at that. Oh, we've got a, we've got some diamonds. We've got some diamonds. First diamonds of the day. We just need some diamonds in general right now to be able to repair something. So I got to just take all these with us and there's two. Okay. Well, we can kind of repair the pickaxe, but look at this. Look at it. It's tiny. It's a tiny, it's a baby lush cave. It's a baby, baby lush cave. Okay. That's fun. It is super dark down here. I have one torch left for my aim right now and uh, I don't want to use it. <gasps> More diamonds right there. Perfect. Yes. There's hope. There's hope. Please, 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 please. One. We're going speed run strats right now. <gasps> More diamonds. Yes, it works. Oh, I'm so glad I ran over here. I almost didn't. All right, we've got two more right there. Any underneath there? No, nothing. Okay. More diamonds. Check that out. Oh, we are really in it now. What level are we at? Negative 22? All right. Well, I'll have to keep that in mind when I'm looking for more diamonds. Around this level seems to be good. 
The lush cave. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at all this stuff. I love it. I think we already have moss and everything though, so we should be okay. Moss, moss is not needed right now. More diamonds. Check that out right there. Yes, 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 yes. We are up to 16 diamonds right now. Oh my gosh, we've actually gotten so many down here. That's perfect. Okay, I think it's time that we get out. I am so absolutely lost right now. I have absolutely no idea where <laughs> where any of my torches are that we had. Oh, that creeper just fell down the hole. Nice, perfect. I was just here. I was just just here but it has revealed more diamonds in the ceiling up there look at that look at those look at those right there yes 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 i think it's only one but it's better than nothing that was i was trying to do a funny bit where i was looking like superman going up this thing and i just fell all the way down there half a heart half a heart not my best attempt at a funny bit not my best attempt okay well anyways we're climbing up the ladder look at this look at this core strength i have that level of core strength, that's what I strive for. Regardless of all of that, we are back above ground and this is amazing. Oh, I feel so much better now. I feel so much better now that we actually have some diamonds. Hello, puppos. Don't worry, boys. Don't worry. Our grand total is 17 diamonds. We're rich. We're so rich on cobblestone and deep slate. So much deep slate. Regardless, I'm gonna throw all the iron, gold, and copper that we got inside the smelters to get those things uh, smelting down so we can actually use them. All right, here we go. Finally, some upgrades for ourselves. That brings us up to full diamond tools. We've got to get those things enchanted. And on top of that, I might just leave this gear. Wow, that the Simpson site, what I still can't pronounce it, has zero durability on it. Oh, that stuff's gonna wear off so quickly. Okay, um, for that we have 10 more diamonds. Let's hold them for now until that stuff wears off and then we will deal with that. But for now, I've gotta run back over to the zombie spawner and see if we can't get a few more levels off of that thing. We set it up last episode and it has helped out so much in this world. All right, here we are. I wanna see how quickly, let's see. I gotta get up to what? 36 to be able to enchant all three of them. All right, we can do that, that's easy. Those are some shiny shoes in there, I wanna please. Oh, I think we got them. Did we get them? Did we get them? No, we didn't. We got a shiny leather tunic. But look at this. Two iron ingots, seven potatoes, seven carrots, and four of these soul stars that I have no idea what they do, but they're probably really useful for something because they're really rare. But we've done it, my friends. Look at this level 36. Time to see what enchantments we can get on all this stuff. Grabbing some lapis over here. What do we see? An efficiency four on the diamond pickaxe and unbreaking three. That'll do, that'll do. Efficiency four on the shovel with unbreaking three as well. That is amazing. An efficiency four, unbreaking three on the ax. Oh, enchantment table. If you're bugged, stay bugged. I would like more of those, please. That being said though, I think it's time to move forward with working on the village a bit more. We've got a decent amount of hay bales so we can make a lot of bread for the villagers to breed with, which will be great. Now I'm not too sure if it matters, but we're gonna go ahead and grab a composter for ourselves and set up a little bit of a manual villager breeding area after I take care of some locals or fall in a cave. Funny enough, with Vein Miner, it's actually still quicker to harvest these trees while using the dang uh, pickaxe over here. So I'm just gonna do this real quick. I really like this bunch of trees in here as a way to block the view line leading up to our starter house. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave those guys in for now. And then we'll bring the pathway along over here. And this will kind of be our little village area. I think it's gonna be super fun. Then over here on the back edge of where we have the enchanting greenhouse, I figure we could set up the villager breeder. So it's a touch removed from everything. Ooh, speedy shovel. Speedy, speedy shovel. Now back here, we need to have a room that's probably about three by three like this. And I vain mind it. Okay, never mind then. Let's be smart and get the other pickaxe. We throw the composter inside of here. We'll put two villagers inside of here that'll be kind of living in this, this small house that we can build for them. And then that's gonna lead over this way just a little bit into the hillside probably where we can have a little bit of a wooden roof on top or something. That's gonna go down a corridor where we're gonna set up four beds right here. And then inside of this place, we're gonna have trapdoor, trapdoor. So villagers are actually gonna be falling downwards at least when the babies are born. And then they'll be headed off down over here, which we can then send them further this direction with a little bit of a water source and maybe we can coax them around the corner too and pop them up right here ish the first problem we're running into here is we don't have any oh we can make rainbow beds please tell me this works for villagers i really hope it does i was gonna say we needed some wool and i uh have these other sheep in here that they don't have grass either so i gotta fix that soon but for now 
Let's hope our villager friends love these rainbow beds. Look how cool those are. Oh, I love them. That's so fun. All right, the beginning trapdoors are in place, so a full-grown villager should not be able to walk through this point, but a baby villager would, and then they'll fall down here because they think that's a full floor, leading ourselves into this little bit of a track ride over here that's gonna be sending them all the way down. Coming down to this corner right here where I believe if we use some signs like that to send another water source in, we can keep them moving forwards, and I'm just really hoping that they don't suffocate in the ceiling, but we'll find out. This is based off a design I use a bunch by Logical Geek Boy, by the way. So I did want to give credit where credit is due, so bringing ourselves over here, we're going to be using the cobblestone wall, which will raise the villagers up enough so the babies kind of bob into this zone, but the full-grown villagers, they'll be bobbing up into that point. So, using a few more signs for ourselves, we can get the villagers to go upwards, and they will all end in this little corner right there after they've gotten fully grown. So that will bring us into probably the center of the village. So we do some really basic decoration on this little shack that we have all the way out here. We can kind of create a little bit of a roof around it. I want these people to feel like they got a, at least a home, you know. Ah, testing out the rainbow beds, and they are so comfortable. Next up, we've got to finish this little roof over here. So I brought in a bunch of fir wood and the dark oak just so we can have the consistent roof design that we've been working with. Or, well, I guess at least a variation of it right over in here. But so far, without any other issues, the rest of the roof is finished up. And I'll just leave that tree growing out of the corner of it. It'll be fine. Well, I should say now the rest of the roof is finished up. There we go. We need to install some little windows on the sides here so that we can see in and out for the villagers. And then I also need to get a trap door that I can toss bread in there from. Yep, we're very humane. They're going to love us. They're, they're going to absolutely love us. And I think it's finally time to fill in this creeper hole. Probably a smart move. I mean, look at me. They're going to love me. I'm giving them a window. Look at the beautiful window. We'll even give them a fake door so it looks like it's a house. See, they love us. They're going to love us. Nothing wrong in here. We'll even give them some torches on the outside. Oh, this one over here where our bread throwing chamber. Yep, we need that to have a little bit of an awning. Some outdoor barrels. Of course, of course, of course. Villagers need a lot of stuff. They need a lot of stuff. I definitely just tried opening that door to see if I could get inside. The next thing though, my friends, is we actually need to get some villagers inside of here. And now that I'm looking at this top section, I think I might just bring that down. I think it's gonna look a touch better. Yeah, that's okay with me. Maybe this guy drops down too. Less okay, but we'll leave it. It'll be fine. No, we're not. No, no, no. Thankfully, we do have the one living inside of the little box that we can rescue, and then we have the others in the tower behind it. There they are in the disgusting purple grassy biome. Hi, buddy. How you doing, Shruti? How you doing, buddy? Come on, get in the boat. Get in the boat. You know you want to get in the boat. Come on now, in the boat. Yes? Yes! If we take a quick trip around the Bear Peninsula, where we saw the epic battle a few episodes ago, we should be able to make it home. You see it there, Sruti? Straight ahead of us? Your brand new home, my friend. I think I can be smart about this one, though. We're gonna get rid of these barrels. We're gonna do this. That thing's gonna be right in here, so he's gonna be attracted to the job site. And hopefully, and I really mean hopefully, Shruti's just gonna run straight for that composter. Yes, and yes, Shruti the farmer. Welcome home, buddy. Let's go find him a friend. Before that though, I'm gonna throw a barrel in here so we can get a fisherman attracted as well. There we have it, the forgotten village with a random tower full of villagers trapped inside. We're liberating them. We're, we're, we're the good guy here. We're liberating the villagers. Since this villager breeder that we're building is going to take forever to warm up, I might honestly have to make a few trips back and forth from here just to bring a few of these guys home with us. Who wants to go first? Anybody? Anybody? No, not two of you. One at a time. One at a time. I have to drive the boat. Come on, guys. Anybody want to go? You want to go? <gasps> yes, we have somebody. We're off. Batman. I don't know. I was thinking like a grand gliding moment there. It didn't really happened. We fell three blocks, but it's fine. I realized I never gave Shruti a light in here. So we're gonna, you guys get two torches now. Two, just for you, the very best. Now for you, my friend, let's hope that you want to go to that barrel or the rainbow beds. Yes, yes, Alicia, Alicia, come on, Alicia. Alicia Tippery, over this way, over this way. I know, I know it's not a regular barrel. It's an oak barrel, but you can do it this way. Please, please, please. Nope, 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 villager. Village, no, the, please stop it, stop it, stop it. Wait, wait, this might work, this might work, this might work. 
No, please just fall in. Yes. Yay. I'm sorry I hurt you like that. That's your own fault. But we've done it. The villagers are in. We just need to give them some bread. Well, we allow the villagers in there to contemplate the deeper meaning of the universe before we throw some bread at them. I figure I gotta run over here and get this corner built out so we can actually get villagers out of here. Since we don't want them to suffocate as we're trying to make them leave the little chamber, I need to do these edges out of glass in this corner. Eventually, we'll get a minecart rail going through there. That'll send them all the way upwards, and that'll be fantastic. And then we'll just kind of have them dropping out of nowhere, just into the middle of town. We'll just do a little trapdoor strip or something like that. But for now, we will remember it by a glass pane, which I didn't mean to place with a torch on top of it. It'd be fine. How we doing in there? How we doing? Sruti and Alicia, you guys getting along? You getting along? Having a good time? Great, great, fantastic. Next up, it's time to get a bit of building in here to see if we can't build some more villager houses. Right, I store the dirt at the front door since that's the floor map. I keep forgetting that. But what we need to do next is get a lot of bricks so we can make a lot of brick blocks. Eventually, we can use a stonemason villager for that, but we don't have one quite yet. So we're out to farming in the rivers. I'm gonna need quite a lot of this stuff as I want to build the, these villager houses mostly out of bricks if we can, so it kind of mimics our starter house. And all I see is gravel. Clay! Lots of clay, but I'm so gonna drown. Uh, zombie dog? Zombie dog? Z skeleton wolf? And my boots broke. Oh, it's all going wrong. Skeleton wolf, kill. Kill the skeleton. Can we tame him? No, he died. Oh, I wanted a skeleton wolf. Oh, more armor's breaking. Oh, more armor. Everything's breaking. Creeper, I need your help. Kill that thing. Nope, not like that. That's not what I needed. Yes, that's what we needed. And I'm so close to being dead. I just want to go home. There's creepers everywhere. Why are they everywhere? Why, 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 why? Home, sweet home with my non-skeleton doggos. And... A lot of clay balls to throw in the furnaces. Now that all of the bricks are smelting down and should be ready by the time we get back home to build up some stuff, we still need to get rid of that grass block for one. But number two, I need a lot more wood to be able to finish this project over here. So I'm gonna head up and chop a few fir trees down and see if I can't spot a few dark oak trees as well. Oh, this is so much faster with efficiency four and a diamond ax. Oh, very nice, very nice. And I think we can just get the last bit as one right in here. Now, because I don't have the vein miner one out. Okay, well, now it'll work. Yes, there we go. All right, I have got a bunch of blocks together and if I'm sounding a little bit different now, it's been quite a while since I recorded those last clips is, uh, oh, my boots and helmet broke. Okay, uh, we'll deal with that later. But anyways, what I was going to say here is uh, we just recently got an exercise bike and I started working out IRL for the first time in like three months. And oh my God, I feel great, but I am exhausted. So my thought here is we can make three different houses today so we can get at least three villagers ready to go. And I just want to give them small little tiny three by three interior spaces, at least to get started for now. Um, For this one, we're just going to go super small, super duper small. The villagers don't need that much space to move around it and then we can do some stuff with like a little bit of the oak right in here and we'll just figure out the back as we're going then we can come over here and do another one and we'll have a little bit of a brick front on this but to make it more unique maybe we do the door frame right in there okay this is hurting my brain a little bit because I don't want them all to just feel like mini carbon copies of each other so I'm gonna change it up just a touch so instead of this being a three wide guy over here we can bring it out to three four five and then that's gonna be finishing off right over here and we can maybe have two villagers inside of this one because we're literally gonna be placing a bed right here for them to sleep in and then the workstation right at their front door they don't need too much space to move around in. We just got to get the walls in and so the villagers can at least stand up, I guess. The goal here is to have a villager trading hall that looks nice and looks like a little village. And we don't need to have too many villagers inside of this place. So I just want to make a few tiny homes for them. So I'm thinking we just bring in stairs moving up to about where we have the top of those oak planks. And then from here, we bring in the slabs going all the way up to the top. That could be pretty fun. Come on now. I'm trying to not chop these trees down because they're beautiful, but they're really getting in the way right now. Okay, so main awning right there for that guy. That looks pretty good. And then we start that similar pattern right over here. We're gonna run into a wee bit of an issue as this would need to be starting right there. And then we bring these around. And then this section over here also is gonna be bending around these corners. 
Instead of having a weird stair in the corner, we can go ahead and just continue on like this. And then right in there, we'll probably do a slab. And we just bring this up in the center right like that. Perfect. And I'm a parkour professional that ran out of dark oak stairs. All right, there we have it. That's actually not looking too bad. Okay, I kind of like this. And now we just got to bring the fur going all the way back along the edge. I decided to wind this one around over here too. So we could have a little bit of an extra awning and I think I'll get rid of these guys and just send it straight back along the edge to save ourselves a tiny bit of wood. All right, the first bits of the fur is coming in over here and we can start stretching back some stairs here as well. I'm running into a wee bit of an issue when we're coming off the backside though, as it's getting really, really close to where we have the greenhouse. Honestly, I don't hate this too much being here as it really breaks up that green and orange everywhere that we had going on. So I'm not really opposed to it. It's just different than what I was expecting. But again, when it comes to Minecraft building, that's not always a bad thing. Sometimes it's okay to figure out something new. The corner we had over here was bugging me way too much at this point in time. So I think I'm gonna be changing it up just to make things a little bit cleaner and flow a bit better. We can do something like that and then we'll actually finish this wall going right throughout here. And then instead of having the wooden support post right throughout this section, we can just bring all of this down, bring in a little bit of the dark oak stair action, bringing it right through here right through there and then we just do a little upside down stair and bring it up to the top so instead of having that full huge section we had beforehand we just get a little tiny bit of a bump in here now which hopefully once we get the rest of this roof in place it'll just flow together very very well and problem solved oh that's so much better now yeah i like that a lot and now we have a little spot back here we can throw a garden in oh boy so a tiny little window right back in here we've got the spruce trap doors in as a separation bit we can throw another window right over here with a small little oak trap door right there. I've got two fur doors on me right now that we can use as the fronts of the brick houses. And for a little bit of contrast on the cobblestone houses, we can throw in some dark oak doors. We actually look really dang good. Then at the top over here, we can throw in a tiny little bit of a window right in there so we can just see inside a little bit more. And now we gotta start adding in all the fun detail of the flowers, the plants, and everything else going on in the area. So starting with some maybe some fences over here. I would love to get a chimney or two in the top of these guys as well. So just a super simple cobblestone bit coming all the way up here. I'll throw the campfires in later on and get the trap doors around them. But this right here, I'll definitely do it. I'm very excited with how these are turning out so far. I knew this was going to happen sooner or later. It looks like we have moved into winter. Everything's slightly blue. Abu Dhabi. But my friends, look at these trees. Oh, I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I like this at all quite yet. Please, please, please. Yes, they're still green. Oh, the beautiful green azalea leaves. You would never leave me. Well, I guess everything isn't orange anymore, so that's quite nice. But now everything is blue and it's making me feel blue. Okay, well, uh, I've still got a floor to throw in here. My plan right now is to bring some of this schist block. I need to go find some more, but I want to create like a large circle in here just to give it a little bit more detail into the floor instead of the spam that we've been doing. Thankfully, one of the mountain biomes nearby did have some more of the schist block, so we've got a little bit for a half circle over here. Well, I guess a moon. We've got a little bit of a crescent moon going on, and my plan was to just have this as a big old circle, meaning we can throw another building right in here. We can bring some buildings on that side as we work our way down, and all of the water is freezing. Oh, no. Please tell me our crops still grow in winter, otherwise we're going to be a very, very hungry flip. Oh, everything's icy. And it's even a darker purple grass over there. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. I'm just realizing now that this is really throwing a wrench in the plans over here because uh, I plan to breed a bunch of villagers. And to breed villagers, we need crops to grow so that we can give them food to breed with. And I, mm, looking at this seed right here, winter, grow speed, 0% speed. That's not, that's not good. That's not not good at all. Regardless of all of that, these little guys are ready to go. And my plan is simply just throw a workstation right here. So the villagers will want to hang out around it. We open the door, we can trade with them. And then for the next one right over here, we just do a lectern. We do that right in there. We get these little guys, which will be tiny little boxes for them. And then we can just do two more lecterns. I think three librarians and one of these guys being the toolsmith station over here. So we can maybe get some diamond tools. That'd be amazing. 
The goal here is to no longer rely on having to mine for diamonds, and I'm really hoping we can tackle that. I've been working on detailing the area a bunch, and I found this new table that I want to try crafting for one of the villagers. I do need some regular stone, though. It's called the Mining Bench. It's from the More Villagers mod. It requires an iron pickaxe, which I just made one somewhere, I believe. Nope, I just got the iron ingots for it. And we need the raw iron right there and two smooth stone. I have no idea what the trades for villagers are on this thing, but there could be a hope for some fun blocks. So we'll get this guy. And coming back down into the village now where things are looking a touch different, I've been detailing for quite a while and I really like it. With the fireplaces in, and it just feels so much warmer. It's so inviting compared to what we had previously. Throw the little mining bench in there. There's no UI on it or anything like that. So we'll have to bring a villager in. Oh, those are back to normal. And I did get one more lantern that I think I'm just gonna throw on the hay bales. But I brought some smooth stone in so we could throw it above the doorways to make it a wee bit more inviting. And I realized that the birch leaves still have their fall color being the orange. So I kinda love it throwing those in all over the place with some azaleas too. But we need to get some villagers in and obviously the villager breeder isn't really finish setting up and I'm kind of impatient so I think we're just gonna grab the boat and go lure a few more of the new villagers over here if we can never mind never mind there's no river there's no river to bring them back by boat in I think with that my friends we might have to wait to move some villagers in the next episode thank you all so very much for watching let me know what you think about these villager houses should we be adding more and finish the whole square around here and what type of villager professions do you think I should get inside of them thank you all so very much for watching please be sure to click that like button down below if you did enjoy subscribe if you're brand new and with that my friends I will catch you on the flip side.